And Randy is back now with a Canadian favorite, and in keeping with the theme from his earlier segment, he's added a peanut butter twist. Thank you very much. What are you making, Chef? We are making peanut butter Nanaimo bars, Tracy. Yes! Yes! How do we do yes. this? I love it. You know what? Um, for the first time ever, you know that I don't bake a lot, but yeah. you know what? I don't mind dabbling once in a while. And I kind of like drew myself to this recipe because it's a no-bake. And I always find that no-baking is a lot easier, just kind of mixing ingredients up. So a little tip for everybody at home, get all your ingredients out, get them measured out because there are a lot of them, and then kind of like move your way through the steps because there's three layers and every layer needs to be refrigerated. Oh, so build okay. the first layer, refrigerate it, then build the second one, refrigerate it. And I'll try to get through this, but here is the secret, Tracy, to the Nanaimo bar that they figured out to make this bar world famous, Nanaimo BC, and um, it's known all over the world. Do you know what the secret is, Tracy? What's the secret? What's in there? Butter. <laughs> I should have guessed. It's, it's a... It's a butter bar. I was like reading the butter. recipes and doing my own thing and doing my testing. And I was like, wow, there is literally <laughs> almost a pound of butter. The first Ooh. layer is like, look at this. This is like butter and sugar. Like now we're talking. <laughs> I think this is going to taste good, right? I think so. <laughs> so in a water bath, it's just like, here we go. And then you get to the next layer. You're like, oh, we need more butter. And then you get to the third layer. Like, so go buy a couple pounds of butter if you're going to start this up. We're just gonna temper an egg in this hot butter and sugar. And what we do is we kind of go over a water bath. So a water bath is just a pot with a little bit of water steaming. And that's just gonna bring things up to temp and kind of cook that egg off. But once we kind of get it there, you can see it's just kind of cooked off a little bit. It's really quite simple. We go with expensive cocoa and the better you can buy, the better off you are. That kind of goes in. Now we're starting to feel a little bit normal. Like, oh, this kind of looks like the base. And then we go with coconut. I went unsweetened because there's quite a bit of sugar in this recipe, but you can go sweetened if that's the way you want to roll. And then graham cracker crumbs. Mm -hmm. So basically you incorporate this together, right? Put it all together and it comes together pretty quickly. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Do I need to grease the pan, Tracy? Because you know, I want these to come out at the end of the day, but the answer most definitely, no, you're good. It's oh, all yeah? butter. Oh, that's oh, right. the butter's, you know, it's not going to stick. As soon as I touched it, because eventually you're going to have to touch it with your hands. As you get your hands in there, you're like, oh, yeah, like, no, that's not going to stick. That is all butter. So what I did is I just placed it down. I had to get three pans for the three different steps. And so I want to do half a baking sheet because I felt it was really important for you to see the height. We toss that in the fridge for 30 minutes. In the meantime, we get our stand mixer, or you can do a hand mixer if you want, and we get some custard powder, some peanut butter, some icing sugar, and we give it a little bit of that. Now, what you need to remember is icing sugar has a lot of cornstarch in it. So that's gonna bring it together. And that custard powder is kind of sweet as well. And then pick your peanut butter wisely. I went with your favorite, Tracy, just the regular creamy stuff because I wanted it extra, extra creamy. Nice. So that comes out and we go with our second layer. So we get that first one that we have chilled, right? And in it goes. So now this is a good point where you can get your kids involved. You can kind of tell them to like pretend they're a Zamboni driver and get that as even <laughs> as possible and smooth it out. You can always dip this spoon in a thing of water to kind of it's sticking a little bit, but then you're gonna chill that layer, okay? So now 20 minutes goes by. You feel like you're kind of accomplished. You got two layers down, you got one more to go. Baker's chocolate, oh, this is hot. This is obviously the best layer, Baker's chocolate. Layer. Uh -huh. This is the best layer <laughs> for sure. And guess what else went into the Baker's chocolate, Tracy? Our secret ingredient. Um, did you put butter in there? Not sure. There's but... freaking butter in there too. <laughs> so first layer, second layer, third layer, we're all getting butter. And then once again, water bath. And this is, this is hot. So as soon as it comes out onto that second layer of chilledness, because you have to chill every layer, it's gonna start getting a little stiff. So you kind of have to be quick with this one and just push it out. Once again, you know, your Zamboni skills come in here. And you don't want this one too thick because then we have to score the chocolate if we go a little too thick. So that's just gonna cover. 
Okay. So now, we got the first, the second, the third. We give the third one a chill. We come back. Hey, how you doing? Look at that. A little flaky nice. salt on the top. Just can bring that peanut butter kind of thing in there. You trade those babies up and they will not last long at any function. Absolutely not, and nor should they. They look beautiful. That recipe's on our website. Randy, thank, thank you, you for that. Yeah, good stuff.